This week, an organization called Checkmarks released a video exposing a vulnerability in Android cameras that allowed hackers to use your camera, record your conversations, and find your location, all without you knowing. As part of my ongoing privacy series inspired by Snowden, I wanted to explain this hack to make you aware of the vulnerabilities of your devices, and also to give you tools to help you live a modern, privacy-conscious lifestyle. Let's start by understanding what the Checkmarks team found. So usually, when you download an app, you need to give it certain permissions. You get a message like, this app would like to be able to access the camera and the location services. And you can either agree or you can say no to downloading the app. Now, many people think that these permissions protect them, but software is incredibly complicated and is often filled with security holes. The Checkmarks team found such a hole in the pre-installed cameras on millions of Android devices, including Google devices, Samsung devices, and others. The vulnerability they found allowed hackers to bypass these app permissions and access things that the app wasn't meant to access, even when the phone was turned off and locked. In the scenario they provided, they built a harmless looking weather app that was designed to exploit this camera vulnerability. Once the victim opens the weather app, the pixel initiates a command and control connection back to the attacker without the victim knowing it. The only permissions it has is access to storage, which is a very basic permission existing in many applications. And it turns out that access to storage is actually the most commonly requested permission observed by the Checkmarks team. And this was the only permission needed in order to access and control a whole number of things on the device. Also, once the app was opened, the phone could be accessed at any time, even after the person closed their app and locked their phone. And the hacker could do things like take photos and videos. But it's even worse than that, because there is a tremendous amount of metadata embedded in your photos and videos. The attacker receives the photo from the pixel and acquires the GPS data of the phone's location. The attacker now knows exactly where you are. Furthermore, they also have access to everything that is in your phone's storage. The attacker selects the List Files button, and they can see all of the JPEG photos and MP4 videos from the phone's SD card, and obtains all of the GPS information stored for each photo or video. In the tool they created, they also managed to design a stealth option that makes sure that the screen doesn't turn on and that the camera doesn't make a sound. Phone calls could also be recorded and the camera could be activated during the phone calls. Not only can the attacker eavesdrop on the conversation, they also have access to the potentially confidential information in the victim's surroundings. The Checkmarks team reached out to Google in July to disclose their findings, and Google confirmed that the impact was much greater than the Checkmarks team had thought, and wasn't just on the one device that they tested, but actually extended into the broader Android ecosystem, and included vendors like Samsung and other companies. Google and Samsung later fixed the errors, and released a new software update with these vulnerabilities fixed. So that should be the end of it, and there's no more danger, right? Well, it's not quite that simple. It just means that Google issued a Play Store update to the Google camera application and that a patch was made available to all partners. And a patch is only good if someone actually downloads the update. You know how periodically your phone alerts you and says you need to update your system and it's really annoying and you usually delay it because you just don't have time. And then sometimes your phone will say update these apps and there are usually a ton of apps that need updating and not using your messenger app and your Twitter for the next few minutes seems like a ridiculous inconvenience. And how important could that update really be? It was a camera app update that Google released with their fix in it. And I wonder how many of you got that update notification and ignored it and thought, well, my camera's working okay. It doesn't even seem slow or buggy. It's fine for now. I'll grab the next update. Well, that's my security tip for today. You should always be running the most recent software for your phone and your apps. And that's because it ensures that you have all the latest security patches. Software updates aren't just about having the most smooth running program possible, they're also an absolutely necessary security measure. And there are constantly security holes in apps being discovered and updates being released. And you should think twice before putting off updates in the future. A huge shout out to the Checkmarks team for their research and their responsible disclosure of the issue to Google. And a shout out to all the teams out there who are working to make sure our device 
devices are more secure so that we can maintain as much privacy as possible. If you want to see the full video of what the Checkmarks team discovered, the link is in the video description below. If you have any privacy concerns or tips, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you found the video helpful, please share it. Thank you so much for watching.